All right, basketball fans, we are back here. It is Tuesday, April 21st, and we are looking at the sixth set of games in the Florence Unified School District Basketball League. Today I'm joined by instructional coach Melissa Lopez here at Florence K-8, who's going to try predicting some of the games that we're going to see today. So are, are you ready to uh, make this happen? I'm totally excited. Can't you tell? I, basketball. <laughs> we got a big basketball fan sitting next to me today. Um, we've got four games today. Uh, the first game is going to feature the Magma Ranch Mustangs traveling to Walker Butte. We'll also have Circle Cross Ranch on their way to Copper Basin. Uh, Anthem he heading to Santan Heights. And we'll finish off with Florence as they take on the Skyline Ranch Bulldogs. So in game number one, we have Magma Ranch at Walker Butte. Walker Butte looks to be pretty strong right now. They've notched two victories after starting 0-3. Uh, meanwhile, the Magma Ranch Mustangs seem to be struggling a little bit. They're coming off a tough loss to Copper Basin, who up to last week hadn't won a game. Magma Ranch started the year in first place. They've slipped to third place, where they've held on to that for the past couple of weeks. So Magma Ranch may have been struggling, but they're still one of the top tier teams in this league. And you have a surging Coy uh, Coyote team that's won two in a row after a tough start to the season. So who do you like, the surging Coyotes or the strong Mustang team? I think I'm going to have to go with the surging Coyotes. I feel like they've got themselves on a roll and they're gathering some momentum and they're just going to keep carrying it through and... Take it this game. I mean, after that victory with uh, Copper Basin a couple weeks ago, they really looked like they've been on fire, putting up a lot of points. So I think that's a def definitely a strong pick, even though Magma Ranch looks tough to beat sometimes. So let's head into game number one, where we see Magma Ranch visit the Coyotes. Look at that, Miss Lopez. You called game number one uh, so far as our, our third guest analyst on the season. You had Mr. Smith, who's the athletic director, going Take one. Take that, game. Mr. Smith. And he missed game number one. Miss Potter missed game number one. She was the one to start off. You, you might be able to pull off the perfect prediction set here. 
I'm if you can keep it rolling. I am trying. Because as you saw there, Walker Butte took out the Magma Ranch Mustangs in a, in a pretty good game. That's going to lead us into the second game of today, which really on paper looks like a big mismatch. Um, we're going to have Circle Cross Ranch heading to Copper Basin. Now, you've got Circle Cross Ranch, who's ranked number one in the league. They're 5-0, and a perfect season. Copper Basin ranked number eight. One and four getting their first victory, but you have the first place team versus the last place team. Uh, and Copper Basin did finally get their first win of the season, but uh, Circle Cross Ranch has really looked unbeatable. Their score differential is a plus 50 across five games, where Copper Basin is minus 19. So, do you think that there is a chance that there could be an upset brewing here, or does Circle Cross handle their business and take out Copper Basin? Now, I am a girl who always, always roots for the underdog. I am. And I would love to say that I think Copper Basin is going to pull this one out, but I truly believe that Circle Cross is just going to keep steamrolling the way that they have to this entire season. Honestly, I think you could ask 99 people yeah. that question, and maybe one or two of them would call Copper Basin on this game. I'd love to see the upset, but I just don't think it's going to happen. But this is why we play the game. So let's head into game number two and see what happens when Circle Cross Ranch Heads to Copper Basin to take on the Dust Devils. All right, Mrs. Lopez, well, you didn't get your prediction right because no. Circle Cross definitely came away with the loss there, but congratulations to the Copper Basin Dust Devils Absolutely. as they notched their second win of the season and take out the undefeated Cheetahs. I'm going to be interested to watch them as they head into the finals and see if they can kind of continue this role as we get down to the end of the season. And this is kind of what we saw out of Walker Butte uh, when they got their first win a couple weeks ago against the Copper Basin yeah. Dust Devils. Gain a little momentum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, then all of a sudden rattle off three in a row, and they're having this really good season so far uh, after starting 0-3. Maybe Copper Basin can do the same thing. Um, so congratulations to the Dust Devils for taking out the number one ranked team and uh, pushing your record to 2-4. and four. Game number three today features the Anthem Eagles as they travel to Santan Heights to take on the Hawks. Uh, Anthem is looking for a victory. They've lost two straight. They came up short against the rival Gophers last week. Santan looked really weak last uh, in their last game. They only put 32 points on the board. That's 13 points below their season average, and they just couldn't get any points during their last game. 
Both of these teams are 0-2 in their last two games. Both these teams have a record of 2-3, and and both have been struggling. So there's a lot of similarities between these two teams, but when this game is decided, the winner is going to have a 500 record, and the loser of this game will be 0-3 in their last three games and probably fall to the bottom of the standings. So which team is going to pick up their season today? I can really see Anthem coming off that loss to their rival Gophers, just being hungry for a win and pushing a lot harder. So I'm going to put my, my bet on the Anthem Eagles to beat the St. John Heights Fox. It's a battle of the birds. Yes, it is. All right, so let's head to game number three as we watch Anthem take on Santan Heights. Miss Lopez, and as we just watched there, the Santan Heights Hawks managed to take out the Eagles. They did. And uh, you're one and two on your predictions for the day. I'm almost as bad as Mr. Smith. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. You're not <laughs> as bad you as Mr. That. Smith. Thank you for that. But uh, Anthem falls to two and four on the season, while Santan Heights pushed their record to three and three as we start really having to think about the, the playoffs, uh, knowing that. The next set of games after this week is going to be the last one before we head into the quarterfinals and Absolutely. see how the playoffs shake out. So congratulations to Santan Heights for the uh, victory against Anthem. And our final game, game number four here, features the Florence Gophers versus the Skyline Ranch Bulldogs. And, of course, as we all know, I am a uh, Florence Gopher homer, having really been with the Gophers for the past 11 years. But Florence held off Anthem last week in that big rivalry game. Meanwhile, Skyline Ranch is 4-1. They're ranked number two in the league. They were undefeated until last week when they were beaten by the then-undefeated Cheetahs, who we saw lose earlier today. Skyline has been absolutely dominating most of the games that they've played. They're in a very comfortable second place. Meanwhile, Florence wants to get back to 500 with a win. 
But Skyline definitely doesn't want to lose two in a row, especially this late in the season. So yeah. which team's going to take the victory here in game number four? So while I love my Gophers, and I am a Gopher fan through and through, I just think that Skyline is kind of on cruise control. They've been cruising through this entire season. They've been taking the wins when they need them, and I think they're just going to unfortunately roll right over the top of our Gophers and keep sailing down to the finals that way. Actually calling Skyline. I am actually calling Skyline. I'm sorry, Gophers. I am so sorry, but I just feel like we've had a bit of an up and down season. and Mostly down. Mostly down, mostly down. Last week was a big high for us, but um, I just feel like Skyline has the team and the hunger to just keep going as we wind down to the end of this season. All right, you heard it from uh, Miss Lopez. Despite being a gopher, sorry, gophers. She sees how strong these Skyline Ranch Bulldogs have been as they put their four and one record on the line. Let's head into game number four and see what happens when Florence heads to Skyline. And that concludes game number four. As you saw, Gophers just could not continue the momentum they gained against Anthem. I really, really wanted them to prove me wrong. I did. 
The skyline's really good. But you know what this means? It means that my predictions as an instructional coach are better than Mr. Smith's predictions as an athletic director. That is absolutely true. He went one and three on his predictions while you went two and two, matching Mrs. Potter with uh, 500 on the day. Look at that. So, well, the epic prediction battle has come to a conclusion, and that also puts this week into the books as we finish up week six of the Florence Unified School District virtual basketball season. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday as we see what happens in the last game of the regular season. Until then, uh, let's put up the standings after week six and see where everything shakes out for this week. And that concludes week number six. As we look at the standings, we can see team number one and two uh, remain constant, even though Circle Cross Ranch took their first loss of the season, while Skyline Ranch moved their record to five and one with their victory. Walker Butte surges ahead with their third victory in a row, vaulting all the way to third place. Magma Ranch, with their loss, falls down to sixth place. In fourth place, we have Santan Heights. Copper Basin, with their second win in a row, heads into fifth place. And Anthem and Florence are at the bottom of the standings in seventh and eighth place. We head to week number seven next Thursday, April 23rd where we'll have the final four games of the season. This will feature Magma Ranch heading to Circle Cross, Santan Heights at Copper Basin, Anthem heading to Skyline, and Florence facing off against Walker Butte. Once again, on behalf of everyone here at the Florence Unified School District, thanks for watching the FUSD virtual basketball season. Please stay safe and have a great day.